Guten Tag, everyone, and welcome to Meow Mix, Carolina Panthers podcast. My name is Steven. My name is Jerry. And we're here to talk about a streak. It's a, a streak. streak, baby. Wow. We won. The Panthers but... won. The Panthers went to Germany. They played a home game. <laughs> and they won. They beat the New York Giants 20-17 to in overtime. Uh, and we're going to talk about it. Yeah, we're going to talk I mean, about what we liked, what we didn't like. Not not too much we didn't like, but we're going to talk a lot about what we liked. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the game I was hoping to see after the last week's game. I saw mm-hmm. Bryce Young make plays. I saw him get better as a quarterback. I saw the whole team itself start to get better. I mean, again, mm-hmm. this is the Giants. I'm not like writing home that we're Super Bowl contenders, but. Mm-hmm. It was nice to see them put back-to-back games together. The defense looked better than they had. I thought the defense looked great. Yeah, I was, hun- I was very impressed with uh, DJ Wanham, number one. Mm, I yes. think he provided a big spark to the pass rush. I mean, we had uh, two sacks in this game. Yeah, that's double our high of sacks. In a single game this year. I guess giving up 167 yards, 5 yards per carry on the ground still is a little little worrisome in my head. I don't know. Like, I I, I agree. The pass rush was a lot better today. One of them added that spark, and I felt Mm -hmm. Daniel Jones did feel some pressure. Granted, Daniel Jones feels a lot of pressure generally. He should feel some pressure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... But yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right. They did give up a lot of, of yards on the ground, but uh, you know, it, it's kind of that opportunistic defense that you know, the Ben don't break defense. I mean, we've seen this as Panthers fans for two decades, like when it works right, right? Yeah. It's the Ben don't break and it's the create turnovers. Uh, and that's what they did today. Now they did, you know, towards the end of the game, unfortunately, the fourth quarter, they seemed to tire out a bit. But um, I thought this was maybe the best defensive performance that we've seen this season. I agree with that. I'm just still stating that worries me. Like, this defense I mean, is not a good not defense. Good. Yeah. <laughs> they're not good. Okay. But in terms of what they have to to play with, you know, the the – all the injuries, all the things we know, the gimping it in the offseason and, and all that. I thought this was a good performance. I did too. I, I guess maybe I'm sounding way too negative on the defense, but yes, it was a good performance. Probably the best <clears throat> performance of the year by them. And it's nice to see. It it does look promising. Yeah. I mean, they gave us up to 17 points to a bad team, but... 17 points, 17 points. And that's an, that should be enough to win in the NFL, and today it was. I agree. So uh, you mentioned that you thought Bryce looked better. I thought Bryce looked better last week than he oh. did this week. Um, now, you know, last week he shouldn't have had an interception. He ended up having that interception because Leggett couldn't keep the ball in his hands, uh, which happened a couple of times today, unfortunately, as well. but uh, Or at least one time. But... Uh, yeah, today, I don't know if it was game plan or what, but, uh, you know, he wasn't really going downfield. Um, and he missed a couple of, you know, just a couple of the shots they allowed him to take. I didn't think he was very accurate on. Um, I don't know. This game just didn't feel quite as crisp to me as last week or, you know, even the week before when he came back. Um, but... That being said, he did not turn the ball over, and I don't even think there were any throws that were close to being intercepted. No, absolutely not. Uh, I, I felt like this was his style of game in that sense. Yeah, um, this was a very game manager type game from him, uh, and that's kind of what we need right now. Yeah, and I th- when the defense is playing well, I, I will say I slightly disagree. I thought he played a better game today. I. You know, I saw him on target. I didn't see him throw it errantly. I every throw had intention, and every throw he made went where it was supposed to go. Now, whether it was you know dips and dunks or whatever, you said he didn't mm-hmm. throw long. Um, 
I'm looking at Carolina's receiving. Jalen Coker's long was 24. Lee Getz mm-hmm. was 23. David Moore mm-hmm. was 13. Chuba was 10. I mean, those, those are pretty good numbers. I mean, it's not the... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's fine. I mean, that doesn't tell you if he's throwing long. That just tells you that the play went for that amount of yards. Uh, I did not see him airing it out this week like we saw him do last week. Uh, yeah, he had a couple of very nice deep throws last week, and I don't think he had... Well, I don't... Yeah, I don't I, he, had he any, didn't any go that deep. But yeah. he did have some deep throws, like 20-something yards... I was surprised. I thought they were they would challenge the corners a little more because New York's secondary is not good at all. Uh, their strength is the defensive line, um, and uh, I thought that that they would challenge a little more. But maybe the game plan, like I said, it could be that the game plan because Canales knows that the defensive line was very good. You know, the game plan may have been just get the ball out quick. And right? that's just, probably what it know, was. Take what the defense gives you, and that's I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, I don't know. You know, 15 of 25, 126 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Like, that luckily was enough for us to win today because other things were going well. Um, but, again, it's not a game. I would have liked to have seen a little more, especially in the fourth quarter from Bryce, kind of making things happen. Now, with that said, I, I agree on the fourth quarter part. I wish he would have made a couple of plays, but also I wish the play calling would have been a little bit more creative in the fourth quarter. I know you had the lead, Canales, but it felt like you kind of laid back a little too much, in my opinion. Even if you want to try to run the clock, which I, overall you won, so <clears throat> you won. Sure. You, yeah, yeah, so... But, like, you've been using these weird end rounds with the Get, Coker, and uh, Tompkins... It, do something like that, but then hand it off to Chuba or something. Like, let's let's mix it up a little bit. Try to throw them yeah. off a little bit. Yeah, and, and that's, again, that, that's kind of what I was saying, you know, is the play calling was just different in this game, it felt like. Uh, and, and that must have been intentional. But, you know, we also need to understand that Dave Canales has not been in this position in terms of the fourth quarter, right? Like... He will I mean, have to learn Panthers fans to haven't been. <laughs> right, right. Uh, he'll he'll have to learn how to close out games. Yeah. As a head coach, as a play caller, right? Because he, he, even yeah, this is only his second year calling plays. Right. So mm-hmm. I mean, we've got to kind of also understand that he is learning as well. But um, you know, let's. I mean, let's just talk about Chuba. You know, Chuba. Chuba. Goes Chuba. Chuba. Signs the big deal in you know this week, and. This is the game. Like, this is the best game of Chuba's career. Yeah. You know, 28 carries, 153 yards and a touchdown. Also had four receptions for 16 yards. 32 touches for Chuba. That's what I want to see. 100%. I mean, part maybe of not, that was... Maybe not 32 every week. Yeah, yeah. A lot, <laughs> you know, like a lot of touches. Uh, and Miles Sanders did go out uh, in this game, and I think that contributed to that, but... You just, you just paid him. I, I'm sorry, but mm-hmm. Miles Sanders is a negative on the field compared to Chuba. Just Every time Sanders was out there, I mean, like the last several weeks, the the offense just stops. Yeah. It, they'll it be on a stops. roll, and it just, all of a sudden, they'll make a play to Miles Sanders, and it just goes nowhere. I mean, yeah. I, I would prefer to see Blackshear, even though he did have a fumble in the putt game, but he got it back. <laughs> yeah, and that was his first one. You know, yeah. as a returner that I can remember. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to kill him for that. He did get it back. Had he not gotten it back, probably would have to kill him for it. But, you know. Strongly worded email yeah. <laughs> to his inbox. <laughs> <laughs> I am very disappointed in you. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, Shuba was fantastic in this game. Uh, you know, and Jerry and I got to watch the game together. Uh, we, we had a... Uh, little brunch party at Jerry's house with uh, a few people. So that was a lot of fun, you know, kind of getting to experience a Panthers win together together. Yeah, that was great. Um, And it's exactly what we wanted to see. Really the game plan. The game plan was good, right? 32 runs, you know, including those two Bryce scrambles, which thank you know, come on, let's do some more of that. I, I like to see 
when Bryce runs, especially that long one, was really nice. A really nice run. Yeah. Um, he yeah, made a I mean, quick the focus, decision. The the yeah. the hole popped open. He saw green. He saw the first down. He took off. And yeah. I wish he would do that a little bit more. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But you know, it was obvious that they wanted to run the ball in this game, and they did thirty-two times to twenty-five passes. That's the kind of split that I think is, you know, winning football for this team looks like. Um, again, I would have liked to have seen a little more deep passes, you know, more creativity, as you mentioned earlier, uh, certainly would be welcome, but it feels like they're just sort of trying to, they're just trying to manage the ball, take care of the ball and play good defense. And today they, they, they were able to do that. Yeah. I, I also want to give a hats off to the receiving core, uh, Coker and Lee get, and I think mm-hmm. it was David Moore too. <laughs> I, I saw multiple times where, Bryce had time. He was looking. No one, no one was open. And then the receiver would drift into the soft spot of the zone to give them a good number, and Bryce was able to hit mm-hmm. him. I mean, good for Bryce hanging in there, and good for the receivers to actually making those smart, smart zone plays. I mean, <clears throat> that's yeah. what we want, needed for a long time. Yeah, and and these are mostly rookie receivers that we're talking about here. So that you know, yeah, uh, they 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 will only get better at that. Um, JT Sanders called his first touchdown today. Congratulations, JT. Uh, and then they kind of, and then that was it. Didn't see any more from Jadavion Sanders. Uh, he had two catches for eight yards. One of them was a touchdown. I'd like to see him more involved, but again, it just seemed like the, the, the game, game plan, plan was, was it that, yeah, was that what it was today. So, yeah, I mean, uh, outside of Sanders, I don't think we had any other injuries uh, I, so came I, away from this game fairly healthy which is yeah. a concern going to play on a soccer field right yeah and, and i heard that the field was also very slick and that could have been a mm-hmm. contribution yeah contributing to uh brooks being inactive as coming mm-hmm. back from that injury they didn't want it and chuba sustained his own injury on that field as well as miles sanders so right you were able to come back and looked fine afterwards but that was a nasty yeah, that was a really nasty fall that he had, or he, you know, his leg kind of got bent behind him at a weird angle. That was that made me nervous. Made me too. That me made too. me nervous. But uh, yeah, luckily he was able to come back. But uh, yeah, just hats off, <clears throat> hats off to Chuba. Hats off to Bryce for managing the game well. Hats off to DJ Wanham for coming in. You know, your first game and really being an impact player. Yeah. You know, yeah, he had a sack. He had a couple of QB hits. Had a couple of tackles for loss. I mean, he he was a force. Josie Jewell. Oh really yeah, and that today. interception was like critical. Yeah, and he almost had another one. Yeah, you know, just like uh, what a couple plays before that. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> uh, Xavier Woods also with an INT. Yeah, I mean, you know, Eddie P two for two kicked the game winning field goal. You know, he had a fifty three yard field goal today as well. Yeah, first everybody contributed yarder. today. Yeah, you got, you got contributions on all three phases today. I, I don't. I, is there a negative at all on this game? Yes, yes, there is. Oh, you do. You have a and negative. it's a big one. Okay, it's a big one. Ten penalties for oh 87 oh god yards. yes sorry my bad. Ten penalties for eighty-seven yards versus the Giants who had three penalties for fifteen yards. Uh, those penalties, you know, had we lost this game, that's what I would have pointed to. Me too. Yeah. A hundred percent. That was, and it was, we negated so many big penalties they had. Mm-hmm. Rough, like, yeah. I mean, roughing. A couple of times like, offsetting, right? Like, it, like a you're couple just of times like, they were offsetting. Come on, guys. You got to get it together. And and yeah. you're a hundred percent right. That That is that is a huge negative that they need to get together. The coaching staff needs to work on them. But overall, well, I, I was proud of the team, the way they played minus the penalties and, Something we haven't seen a lot of here. Yeah. I mean, the penalties were a problem. Uh, third down defense wasn't very good. The Giants were 7 for 15 on third downs. Um, so, you know, some some good things. You know, coming off a win, those are the things that you like to talk about in the meetings. You know, yeah. If you're Dave Canales. Like, hey, yeah, we won. But here's the where we can get better. Here's where we can get better. Here's where we can get better. 
Um, so, you know, there are those are some legitimate things. And the penalties, you know, you would think would be something that they could clean up with, you know, practice and coaching, right? Yeah. Those, those are things, just mental mistakes. Those are things that can be corrected. So and, and most that's of what we see. And most of those were correctable mistakes. <clears throat> um, I know one that we kind of saw differently is the pass interference with uh, Mike Jackson as – I was saying he may have just felt beat and he was starting to stumble mm. and decide to take him out instead of letting him make that play. So yeah, at least maybe when I saw it, that's what I kind of saw. And I'm okay with that penalty for him. It, it does seem like, you know, that that's, that's what he did. Now that's, he still got beat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right? <laughs> like he still, it was not a good play, but to do that instead of giving it the touchdown. And then they ended up forcing a punt, you know, a few, a few plays later. So turned out to be the right decision if that's what he did. And and I tend to agree with you. I think that's probably what he did. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, we saw referees speaking German. We had, you know, <laughs> this game had everything. <laughs> we this had game the, was the crazy. CGI Panther back on the field. Like people were, you know, uh, lots of Panthers fans there. Uh, huh. And I saw, you know, on Twitter, a lot of people, you know, that we follow on Twitter, that follow us, that we've had conversations with, went to the game. Uh, you know, you at some point were considering going to the game. Yeah. Yeah, I was. So, uh, unfortunately, financially couldn't make it this week or this year, yeah. but, you know. Well, you know, inflation. Inflation is high. <laughs> you know? And we are also planning Disney World so next year. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. Well, well plus, you know. I thank God we won because that, that's thousands and thousands of dollars all, all these people spent to go to Germany to watch the Panthers, uh, yeah. who, you know, very recently were one in seven. So, like, this is yeah. it's nice. Good for them uh, that they got to see a win. Well, I was thinking about this today because, like you said, we had a big brunch and stuff like that. And I was like, God, if the Panthers just poop the bed and look absolutely horrible – God, this is going to be a horrible morning. That was my <laughs> thought when I was making breakfast. <laughs> yeah, well, and that was a legitimate concern, you know, based <laughs> on what we've seen so far this season. But, uh, you know, hey, this uh, honestly, this season has been so bad. But so bad. The last two weeks, we got two wins, and now we're going to the bye. This is going to be a nice bye week. Like, we can have, you know, we're coming off a win going into the bye. We don't have to worry about a loss next week. Uh, we just get to kind of relax for a couple of weeks here and think about how this team is kind of seemingly maybe starting to come together a little bit. I, that's exactly it. I mean, <clears throat> it feels like they're, they're hitting their stride for, you know, everyone. And that's all we really needed and wanted from for this team, in my opinion, oh, this yeah. year. We're not trying mm -hmm. to win a Super Bowl. We know that. We're trying to get better and look better slowly. <laughs> I hate saying it like that, but that's the truth. Uh, it's 100% the truth. I mean, we knew that this season was going to be rough. You know, we talked about it in the preseason. Uh, I think we... You know, both chose six wins, I think, as as our predictions. So yeah. we're halfway there. Um, what do you, I, I, you know, how do you feel? I guess we'll we'll do kind of a, a mid year. Perfect time for the bye week, by the way. We'll do kind of a mid year podcast at some point over the next you know week or so. But um, do you think the Panthers can get to that six win total over the next what? seven games i have to look at the schedule because if i remember correctly our second half schedule was very rough well it's it, it's it's not as bad as you might think i mean there are some tough games like we got the chiefs the week after the bye okay yeah right. i'm sorry so we're but gonna I don't... Knock, we're gonna knock the chiefs off okay that's one. <laughs> uh but then we've got the bucks who are now you know not playing super great no. Nope. Uh, we got the Eagles. That's a tough one. We got the Cowboys. who are going to be without Dak Prescott. That's a, definitely a winnable game. Uh, Cardinals are good, but then you got the Bucks again. And you finish off with the Falcons, who likely will have already wrapped up the division by then. I mean, I see three wins there. 
<clears throat> I, I, see, I, 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 I think they could beat the Bucks. They could split with the Bucks. They could beat the Cowboys, and they could beat the Falcons. That yeah, I guess game. you're right. I guess you're right. I mean, it's not crazy. Uh, Two weeks ago, this would have seemed crazy to think that. I mean, let's let's be it's, honest. Thinking any Panthers wins is kind of crazy still. You know, we'll see. I mean, Andy Dalton will probably be back after the bye week, right? That gives us a little boost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andy Dalton's not seeing the field again for a while <clears throat> in Carolina. I, I hope he doesn't, I but I am not willing to say that I, he definitely won't. But it does kind of show that Dave Canales made the right point of benching him when he did for a month. Now, that injury to, mm. what should we call it? Yeah, yeah. Definitely the, accelerated the timeline. Yeah, but. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, it looked like it was the right move. That's all I am allowed to say. <laughs> I mean, it seems like it was, right? You know, Bryce looks like a very different quarterback the last two weeks than he did the first two weeks. A hundred percent. He looks very, calm. A very different quarterback. Yeah. He's, his footwork looks better. He's taking his time. He's not rushing. Um, you know, he, some of his throws are still a little off and he's still, you know, making the wrong decision sometimes, but he's still a very, very young guy who's still learning how to play in the NFL. Yeah. I mean, and, he's showing yeah. promise. <clears throat> right. I mean, yeah. I hate saying and, it and like it, that, but he's Well, yeah, that, that's that's what we have to look for, right? That's yeah. That's the best thing we can say about him right now. Like cuz he he wasn't going to come out and throw for 350 yards, nah. right? That that's just not what this offense is right now. Uh but he's managing the game. And for me, like if he continues to play like this for the rest of the season, then I would, I'd be upset if they drafted a quarterback in the first round of this upcoming draft. <clears throat> Honestly, right? at this that, point, yeah. I think it's harder to see them drafting a quarterback if he continues on this route. If he continues on this route, yeah. I mean, obviously, which if, is a big if. Yeah, big if. If he starts playing like week one and two again, then. Completely different. I mean, honestly, this quarterback class this year is not the greatest anyways coming out. So it's 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 yeah, I mean there's there are no sure things, right? Um but there is some talent. So I you know, I could easily see if they if Bryce was not playing as well, right, that they would consider drafting a quarterback. But let's hope it doesn't get there. You know? Let's hope it doesn't get there. All right. Well, you want to talk? Uh, what, what do you want to talk about? So you can do some stats? Yeah, let's do some stats. Do a little statues? This is a definitely statues? a different type of recap video than we're used to. It's a little lighthearted. I think and... it's fine. It's a little loose. Yeah. A little loose. <clears throat> uh, you know, I was uh, I went to a kind of a, a co-worker's house after I left your place and had a little get-together. Yeah. Got a little loose. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. You know, feeling good. Uh, so we talked about Bryce, uh, Chuba, 28 carries, 153 yards and touchdown four receptions, 16 yards mentioned that as well. Uh, but Hey, that's uh, almost 170 total yards for Chuba. By the way, the children received, uh, ad additional funding today. Yes. From Chuba. Uh, so thank you again, Chuba. I mean, we may you have to, you, when have, we... you have no idea, but you know, <laughs> we may have to just send whenever we send it to St. Jude's from Chuba Hubbard, because that seems yeah. to be all we're betting <laughs> on is his props. Hey, you know, you, you run with the horse. Uh, Steven, uh, I can't hear you anymore, so I don't know what just happened. All no, right. Receiving. Yep, sorry for those technical difficulties there. Okay, going back to the stats here <laughs> after Chuba Hubbard here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we got Bryce Young, two for 30. I'd still like to see more from him running the ball. Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, but glad that he did look to run, especially on that long 24-yard run he had. Uh, and then Miles Sanders' entire day was two carries for five yards. Uh, Jalen Coker led the team in receiving uh, three receptions, 41 yards. Uh, Leggett, three for 40. Uh, by the way, Coker, eight targets. Yeah, I was going to say, did they target him a little too much, in my opinion? Uh, I wouldn't say they targeted him too much. I think they targeted Leggett not enough. Okay. Uh, cause he only got four targets. 
So I would like to see that more of an even split between those two. And, and it looked uh, early that he was really looking for Leggett too. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the thing is Leggett kind of disappears. And I don't know if that's him or if that's just the fact that this offense is kind of inefficient and, and yeah. you know, not not where it needs to be. So, uh, But, yeah, yeah. Leggett three for 40. Moore two for 18. Uh, Chuba four for 16, as we mentioned earlier. Jatavion two for eight with the touchdown. And then Ian Thomas. <clears throat> it's fine. Uh, and then Chuba. <laughs> Cuba lost a fumble. That was unfortunate. Um, actually, he lost a fumble on that play where his leg got yeah origamied beneath him. Um, it, one of those but, fumbles, you're just like, oh, okay, I get it. That that hurt. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not holding on to anything if my leg is bent like that. Uh, JC Horn had a, I thought, a very good game today. Eight tackles for him, one pass deflection. But he was on neighbors, and he held neighbors to uh six for 50 so and i think only like 43 of those i think were on jc horn from from what i saw uh but good job jc horn i mean you know if you can i mean that guy neighbors he could easily go for 200 oh yeah he's the, he's got that kind of talent so nice job there um xavier woods i thought a good game eight tackles for him as well it had the interception um a sean robinson i mean i like a sean robinson has sack Trevin Wallace, seven tackles. Dane Jackson, six tackles. Wanham, six tackles, one sack, two tackles for loss, two QB hits. Great game by yeah. Wanham. I, I, I think a lot <laughs> of... Hey, DJ Wanham, great game. But also Josie Jewell. Josie Jewell yeah. came, coming back last week. It, it does feel like this defense has a different energy, at least competent mm-hmm. Something that it what was missing, and I think Jewel coming back, Trevin Wallace taking a step back and just being able to react is helping yep. the defense <laughs> overall. And Jordan Fuller also coming back, just oh man, Get, getting a little healthy, you know. And it doesn't hurt that you've played two bad teams back to back. You know, but hey, that gets your confidence up a little bit. I mean, that's uh, there's that's fine. Yeah, you, we are a bad team. We were one and seven, right? And we have won two games in a row now. We are not the worst team in the NFL. We are not giving up 30, 40 points a game every week anymore. Right. right. Like, I mean, we, we have <laughs> ascended to like the 29th worst team in the NFL. That's, which is a, that's pretty, pretty good. Hey, yeah. There's we're three teams. Two. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving on up. I, I think right uh, now the draft pick is number nine. So we'll say, yeah, yeah. We're, we're at nine. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, hey. we're not even mathematically out of the playoff race. I, I don't want to even con- pretend like we're going to go that far. <laughs> but, you know, a couple more wins and I might start getting excited. Playoffs! Um, yeah. Eddie P, like I said, two for two. I always like to highlight the kickers. Uh, he was four for four total with two extra points as well. So, uh, and then Hecker, seven. Seven punts, an average of 48.1, which is great. And then three of them inside the 20. So that guy continues to be a weapon. Uh, do you want to go over the Giants stats or just kind sure. of hit the ones that are interesting? Uh, Daniel Jones, 22 of 37, two interceptions, 190 yards. I mean, I, I think he gets benched. I think Dayball has to yeah. make that call. If Dayball is the guy making that call. I mean, after this the game, Carolina, Carolina Reapers. Reapers I'm going after him. By the way, <laughs> thanks all of you for stealing our <laughs> our picture that we made of of uh, Bryce Young as the Grim Reaper. I see that thing everywhere. I see it on Reddit. I see it shared <laughs> by multiple accounts on Twitter. Uh, it's kind of nice. We've contributed something that is now a meme, it feels like. Yeah, and, and, I, and I'm about to uh, create a T-shirt for it and sell my tees. That's, that's the thing. So yeah. I, I will connect that in a future episode if I get it done. Yeah. I yeah. made the logo. Don't it give, looks pretty cool in my secrets. opinion. Don't give away our secrets. Well, I mean. But possibly some merch coming up. <laughs> merch coming up for the, from, the, from the Meow Mix. All right. Uh, Tyrone Tracy, 18 for 103 yards. I don't get why teams are not trying to run the ball down our throats, but thank you for not. Uh, Devin I mean, they Singles. ran 34 times. 
No, overall they did, yes. But it, yeah. it felt like they went away from it for a little while. I don't know why. Yeah. Devin Singletary, 8 for 40. Uh, Daniel Jones, 7 for 26. Uh, Malik Neighbors, 1 for negative 2. Uh, receiving Wondell Robinson, 5 for 51 on 8 targets. Neighbors, uh, 6 for 50 on 10 targets. Jalen Hyatt, 4 for 39. Uh, and Theo Johnson, 4 for 37. Theo. Theo. Um, Rest guys, uh, Hodgins, uh, Singletary, and Tracy all had one other reception as well. Uh, defense, Tyler Newbin led all Giants with tackle, 12 tackles, one tackle for loss. Uh, Bobby Okariki, 11 uh, tackles. Uh, Brian Burns, he's, he came lightning out of the gate, and then just I didn't really see him much after that. It's kind of a Brian oh. Burns type of story. <laughs> that's, a, that's his whole career. Uh, nine tackles. He also got hurt, but uh, did come back in the game. One sack, two tackles for loss, and one QB hit. I mean, it, it was, it's one of those, like, wow. Filled but, up the stab sheet, but yeah. It, like, it, when it mattered, it didn't really feel like it. Just, yeah, it, it, I mean, he had some impact plays, but uh, really only a couple that I can remember. Yeah. And again, that's kind of the Brian Burns experience. The talent is there and obvious, but... It's just not the consistent. He is not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other than that, Dexter Lawrence, four tackles, one tackle for loss. I mean, keeping him within a reasonable stat line, I think that's good. <clears throat> Another good game by the offensive line. Yeah. Chris this patchwork offensive line. Yeah. Cade Mays. I mean, Brady Christensen, I think you're about to get paid in the offseason by somebody. Yeah. Unfortunately, probably won't be us. No. Yeah. Uh, I like him. Yeah. Uh, Gano missed a field goal. Yeah. B big deal. Uh, big bit. I mean, it turned out to be a huge deal. Right? Yeah. Game game losing field goal in the first quarter or whatever it was. Um, Amir Smith Marset got to see our old friend. A and a fisticuffs. Had a, had, a, had a little bit of a an attitude problem at one point, but Don't yeah, know um, whose just... fault that was, but okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, just real quick, uh, Giants were seven for fifteen from third for third down, as I mentioned earlier. Panthers six for fifteen, so you know pretty much a wash there. Uh, total yards three forty two for the Giants, three oh six for the Panthers. Um, time of possession, the Giants were thirty four and a half, the Panthers twenty seven and a half. So I felt like yeah, in the second half things kind of got away from us a little bit, um, but you know able to hold on and. Huge play, of course, in overtime, you know, forcing the fumble, getting the ball, you know, uh, right there in the red zone. Ready who to got go, that basically. forced fumble? I, I was too elated to really remember who yeah, got I it. Yeah, I think they, I think they credited it to, do they credit it to Josie Jewell? I mean, if that if that's the case, then Josie Jewell, wow. Yeah, I'm not, really, I'm not 100% sure. I think he was the one that recovered it. I'm on, uh... ESPN and they didn't give it to they don't have even forced fumbles in here so that's not fun yeah he does have the one recovery though um so yeah I, I, who knows he was around it though at least um but yeah I mean that's obviously the play of the game right the yeah force fumble there and then you run it into the teeth of the defense three times and kick the field goal yeah I would have just kicked the field goal immediately I don't even think you risk fumbling it they were well within field goal range i I, th I think you go hey panero you got this what hash okay one run to yep. that side go down yep. chuba you kick yep. it yep number one rule is don't fumble yep number one rule uh but yeah yeah good game overall uh, yeah heroes I, and zeros real quick um sure uh hero yep. man i i'm gonna gotta give it to chuba 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 mm. i mean 153 yards rushing, one touchdown. It, yeah, well deserved. Yeah, you got paid, yeah. and then you kind of showed up right after to say, "Hey, this is why I got paid." People who yeah. didn't like the deal. Uh, no surprise for me. I'm going to give it to DJ Wanham. Uh, I think yeah. uh, he came in, and the defense just looked different. Just looked competent, uh, energized, as you said. So I'm going to go DJ Wanham. Uh, okay. zeros. I mean, just Ian, Ian Thomas on principle. 
There you go. We'll give it to Ian Thomas on principle. Even though he had the one target, one catch. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> a three-yard gain was the be- highlight of uh, our tenure with the him, it feels like. The season so far. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, we want to thank everyone for listening. If you like the show, please let your friends know. Please follow us on Twitter at meowmixpodcast.com if you like or subscribe on YouTube. Yeah, I, I butchered that. <laughs> I don't know what you just said. Uh, <laughs> we'll be back sometime this week. Uh, we'll try to do something fun. I mean, we'll do a little recap of the season so far and what we like and, and where we think the season is going. And maybe we'll try to do some other stuff. I told my son Chase that he could you know, make an appearance. He's been asking, so we'll have to find something uh, fun for it, him. It do. was his birthday, dude. We should have done that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Happy eighth birthday to my, to my boy, to my boy. <laughs> uh, but until then, everybody stay safe out there. Enjoy this win and keep pounding. <laughs>